More tablets will face off against the iPad. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. Apple isn't the only company showing off new gadgets this week. Nokia unveiled new Lumia Windows phones and a tablet the same day as Apple's announcement, so tough break for Nokia. But the company's first tablet will be the Lumia 2520. And it's a colorful 10-inch tablet that runs the lighter version of Windows 8. It's called Windows RT. It just means you can only download programs from the Windows Store. Now that'll be out sometime later in the year, and it looks like it'll be a strong competitor to the Microsoft Surface tablet tablet, especially when you factor in the extra keyboard accessory. It costs $150 and includes a touch trackpad mouse and it serves as a backup battery with an extra five hours of juice. Nokia also has a new line of extra large six inch smartphones starting with the Nokia Lumia 1520. That will be coming to AT&T and it's the first Windows phone with a quad core CPU and it's got a 1080p HD display along with a 20 megapixel camera. Nokia also has a scaled back version that will be a little cheaper. It's the Lumia 1320. You tend to find that these extra large phones are more popular in other countries outside the U.S. Nokia says it's for someone who may not want both a tablet and a smartphone and instead just invests in one big phone. But I have a feeling you'll want to get a Bluetooth headset instead of holding this up to your ear. After weeks of delays, the BlackBerry Messenger app has finally arrived on iOS and Android, only to keep you waiting. More than 10 million people have downloaded BBM on the first day, but when you open it, you have to enter in your email to be put on a waiting list to use it. Messaging apps are popular these days, and BlackBerry could see a big user base if they ever get around to letting people use their app. Right before the holiday shopping season begins, Amazon has increased the minimum spending amount to get free shipping from $25 now to $35. Of course, it's just another reason to get people to sign up for the $80 a year Amazon Prime subscription, which provides free two-day shipping on most items and it also throws in free movies on Prime Instant Video, which is like their Netflix. And several other perks are also available for Kindle owners. It's also worth noting that T-Mobile is selling iPads for the first time this year, and it's charging no money down. For the 16-gig model of the iPad Air, a customer can pay about $26 a month for two years to pay it off. T-Mobile also is offering 200 megabytes of data for free every month. That's your tech news update. For more details, head to CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.